Hello everyone, we are going to learn how to plan an electron beam treatment using a TPS, both 2D and 3D. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plan a 3D CRT electron beam planning. The TPS I'm using is Zio. First, we are going to open it and we choose the patient. And then we choose the CT and the graphic area setup which is we like and click OK. Here we can see the patient. I'm going to change the window level and turn off this plant object. I'm also going to change the rendering of the structure into wire so it will not overlap with the dots. I'm going to change the CTV into purple and the PTV into blue. You can see it here. It is the PTV and it is the CTV. Click OK. The first step is I'm going to make origin point, which is located by RTT used during city planning. Here. Yeah. I'm show I'm going to show the scales moving it to find the origin point. It is here and make the point. Click here and let's name it into origin. Click OK and then, then next we are going to make ISO center. Let's name it into ISO center. In the, in the center of PTV here and then we click OK cancel and we make the beam for example I'm going to name it into electron using 6 map electron and the initial beam placement using ISO center we just made click OK and in the, in the configuration we can change the SSD the applicator, the gantry angle, the collimator angle, the dose, and the fractions. For example, I'm going to make a 50 gray case using 25 fraction, using 6x6 applicator. Maybe I'm going to change the gantry angle to 10 degrees, like that. You click OK, I'm going to turn off the scales. To see the dose, we are going to activate it by using this one. I'm going to change it to isofill and put the dose thumb, dose which we like to see. This one is 107%, the 100%, the 95%, and the 80%. We click OK and we can see the dose which is calculated here. The next step is we are going to analyze this one using a histogram. I'm going to put in the fifth window and activate all of the structure. We click OK. Yeah. And then we can analyze it more detail using dph statistic our main concern is the eye the left one the globe is safe but as you can see the left lens is significantly higher than allowed dose which is 47 gray compared to 7 gray so we are going to block it using block. I'm going to turn off all the structure except the eye, the lens, and the PTV. I'm going to change the rendering so we can see it better here. And I'm going to maximize this one. Then we're going to make a block 
here until here to make it easier I'm going to use scales and change the spacing to 5 mm and move it so it will be precise when I'm making the block in the bolt room after that we're going to go to the port section and make it using mouse going to click here until here and then I'm going to move the scale Let's say maybe here and draw it again and then the block is created after that we're going to analyze again before the left line is 47 gray let's see so it's only 10 gray this is not really good but you get the point we make a block to lower the dose in the organ at least the next step we can do to optimize this one is using a bolus I'm going to change the rendering again can you see here the dust is not really upper into the skin we are going to use bolus to make the dust going upper but I'm going to make block here I'm making bolus here bolus ok and I'm going to assign it and it will be automatically calculating as you can see the dose is going upper into the skin which is better than before so that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to learn how to make an electron booster planning. The first step is open the previous plan we already made. We click OK. Here we have a local burst case. The first I'm going to do is turn off the previous beam from the previous planning and then I'm going to show only the necessary structures here yeah, I'm going to maximize it so you can see better this is the booster area and this is the previous PTV area the next thing I'm going to do is I'm making an ISO center for the booster. ISO center booster. In the center of structure PTV booster. It is here. So it's good. Click OK. And then we're going to make the beam. For example, I'm going to use uh, 8 mav beam and the initial beam placement is the ISO center we just made click OK I'm going to try 345 degrees gantry angle with 10 gray dose and 5 fractions using 6 times 6 cones and then I'm going to change the ISO value into 10 gray we click OK we can see the 80% dose is on the lung, in the lung we are going to use bolus to make it going upper into the skin 
I'm going to make bolus. Yeah. Just like previous video, I'm going to try five millimeter. It's done, and then I'm going to assign it into the electron beam. You click OK. We can see the dust is already going up into the skin so it's not in the lung again just like before so it's good and then we are going to analyze it with the previous beam we are going to turn off it turn on it and change the iso values again to 60 gray here we can see the 60 gray area and the 50 gray area we can see also the, the, the DVH statistic because it is a right base case we are going to see the right lung dose it must be under 30 30% at 20 gray and it's good so this plan is good and that's all thank you for watching Hello everyone, in this last part of video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a 2D electron planning using a TPS. The first thing you need to do is you need to scan a slab phantom, import it into your delineation program and then import it to your TPS and then we are going to open it. I'm going to open it, the slab phantom which I already scanned, like this, as you can see, This is only a select phantom, no matter how you see it. It is a 15 cm select phantom. And then the next step, I'm going to turn off the plan object. And then we make a beam as needed what the doctor said. Let's say for example, he need an ECMAF beam for 20 gray dose at 10 fractions using 10 by 10 applicator using 100 SSD. We click OK. We can see the calculated so dose here. We can change the value into eighty percent, like this. And the MU calculated already here, and it's rather that simple. If you need to change the parameter, you can choose edit beam. For example, maybe you need 6 map, and then you need to change the block. You can draw it again, like the first part of the video, or you can use bolus of 10 millimeter, 5 millimeter, and so on. You can just see the MU here, and you give it into RTT. So that's for the last part of the video, thank you for watching and happy planning, thank you.